What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Going to show you a little rock and riff. Uh, actually, show you as many parts as, uh, as I know on this one. Um, and it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time doing it. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with an A. It's all power chords. We're going to start with an A power chord, which is right on the fifth fret. So I'm going to put my index finger on the fifth fret right here. Some guys use their pinky a whole step up on the next string. I do that sometimes, but most of the time I use my ring finger. And uh, we're going to do just two, two note power chords. All right, so we're going to start with that. We're going to go. And then a little rest. So we've got down, down. And some times I've seen it this way. But those same notes are right here, and I saw a live version where he's doing it here. I don't get too hung up on the on the location of the exact same note, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna go to up to the tenth fret power chord here. And we're gonna go ten, nine, eight. So we've got five, five, ten, nine, eight. So we've got, um, uh, after we do that, from the 7th fret, or no, I'm sorry, from the 8th fret, we kind of go 8, slide up to 10. And I, sometimes it sounds like it's not there, and sometimes it is there. It's kind of muddy, but it's definitely there uh, most of the time, if not all the time. So we've got... So it's not like a... Pretty subtle. So. There's not, you're not picking every note. There's, you know, when you have more gain. down a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna go the next section and it's five, three, eight, twelve, five, check it out. Five, three, eight, twelve, five, all power chords. Tonic thing under there that's like that you could double up. You know, little fills and stuff. So we're going to go to the 7th fret power chord, then up a whole 
whole step. So there's pretty fast little lick right there. I, I think it, I, I'm playing the right notes, I just learned it by ear. You, there's some different, you know. For some reason, I, it's easier for me to play it on the high E string. Uh, there's not as much muck, mucky muck. So we've got um, one, two, then a one, two, one, trill so it's like see that to that two on the B that that notes really quick that's why if I'm playing right here it's just barred cam so it's like one two four then it goes into the C sharp minor pentatonic you know extravaganza or smorgasbord and I if I were you I would just work on just coming up with some jam, jammy licks in that scale, because I, I didn't, you know, go through every note of the solo. I apologize, but when I've covered this song, I go into my own thing there, and I, I think that's a good way to go, unless it's like one of those super, you know, like the solo to Sweet Child of Mine is of a specific, specific set of melodies, whereas this is kind of rocking out, improvised. <laughs> Lots of kind of that growly stuff, you know, so you've got like the ninth fret on the high E and the twelfth on the B. And you're bending the twelfth up to that note. And then you can also do that same thing where you're on the ninth of the B and you're bending the eleventh of the G up to that note. Or you can cover both of these. more of that trill stuff. Then you've got this super gothic um, uh, kind of line here where we're going to go, which is going to be the fourth of the A, and then five, four, three on the low E. this world record guitar lesson thingy you can click the link below and check it out otherwise we'll see you in another lesson real soon take care